In this example, this figure shows a coaxial cable which consists of an inner solid cylinder of radius a, an outer hollow shell. This is a cylindrical shell with inner radius b and the outer radius c. And it is saying that a current I flows in both the connectors in opposite direction. Here we can see that in outer connector it is flowing toward right, and in the inner solid connector current is flowing toward left. Now we are required to find the magnetic induction at a point located at a distance r from the central axis such that r is between b and c. That is a point somewhere here which is located at a distance r from the central axis. Now to have a clear understanding, let's draw the picture again with the cross section of this coaxial cable. Here we can see if this is the cross section of this coaxial cable such that this inner connector is of radius a, and in the outer shell the inner radius is b, and its outer radius is c. Then in this situation here, this is the outer shell. In which the current is flowing. Here I can draw it by this etching. Now, in this inner conductor, the current is flowing in inward direction. In the outer shell, it is flowing in outward direction. And say both are carrying a current I. And we are required to find the magnetic induction at this point P, which is located at a distance R. And to find the magnetic induction here, we consider a closed path of radius r with center lying on the axis of the cylinder. And say if this path is named as a path M. Here in solution, we can start with the using Ampere's law on path M. Here we can write integration for the closed path M B dot D L. This line integral must be equal to mu naught multiplied by the total current and close by this closed path. So by this closed path, one current I is flowing completely in inward direction, and another current which is enclosed within this area. So that can also be calculated by proportionality because this current I is uniformly distributed in the cross section of the outer shell. So it can be written as I minus this I, the total current flowing in downward direction or inward direction, minus the current which is coming in outward direction, which can be given as I by the total area to find the current density that is pi c square minus b square multiplied by pi r square minus b square. Now in this situation, here pi also gets cancelled out. And this B dot D L becomes B D L because magnetic induction here will be in tangential direction, and D L is also along the length of this circular path. So the angle between B and D L at every point is zero. So this can be written as B integration of D L or B into two pi r, which is equals to mu naught i, and Within the bracket, the terms can be simplified by taking LCM C square minus B square. It will become C square minus R square upon C square minus B square. So from here, the value of magnetic induction we are getting is mu naught I by two pi R multiplied by C square minus R square by C square minus B square. That will be the answer to this problem.